On a leash tutorial, hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to create an e-commerce sales funnel using Funnelish. The first thing you want to do is go onto Funnelish.com or I'll be leaving a link in the description that you can use to get started. And they offer a 14-day free trial period. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. So you're going to tap on start free trial. Then you'll be redirected to a page just like this. And you can select whichever free trial you like to use and then you are going to be redirected to a new page on which you'll be prompt to verify your email address after you have verified your email address you are going to tap on create your first funnel once you have tapped on create your first funnel from there you can tap on use a template in the top left hand corner and you can see numerous templates that you can choose from you can also choose from different categories whether you'd like to use trending, popular, health and beauty or so on. Now let's say for example I'll just select this one right here. So you're going to tap on the template. Then after tapping on the template you can see how the landing page looks. Then the checkout page and you can see the upsell and the thank you page. Once everything is in your liking you're going to tap on use this template. After selecting use this template, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll now be able to edit the pages. So you can tap on edit page right there. After you have tapped on edit page, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll now be able to add in your company logo by tapping on it. You can also change the image by tapping on the current image that is there. It is beginner friendly and easy to use. So you can tap on the image, you could tap on the text, you can also tap on the product name. Once you're finished editing it to your liking, all you'll need to do, you could tap on save changes in the top right hand corner right there. After you have tapped on save changes, you can tap on go back to funnel. And then you can also tap on the order form and you could edit the order form also. You can also edit the upsell page. Or if you'd like to delete the page, you can do that. You can also edit the thank you page. If it is a case that you'd like to add a new step, you could do that by tapping on new step right here. And you could choose from the different steps that they have. Whether you'd like to add an order form, a sales page, or a new checkout page or upsell, you can do that right there. Here, finish editing the different pages as you can see right there. And if it is a case that you would like to enable once you are finished editing the different pages, to add the payment processor, you will go down to the bottom left hand corner and from there you are going to see the option Funnel Apps. You are going to tap on that. Once you have done that, you can toggle on Funnelish Pay. You can also use any one of these apps as you can see right there. There are numerous different options you can choose from and if we were to select Funnel Automations, you could create an automation if you want. Once you're finished and everything is set up, you're going to tap on funnels in the top left hand corner and you're going to see the funnel that you have created. Now let's say we were to select the funnel. After selecting the funnel, you can preview it by tapping right there and you can see how it looks. So it would redirect them to the landing page and to copy our link, we could tap on the two boxes and copy our link and share it. And you'll also be able to view orders when you get it by tapping on orders. You'll be able to view customers. You can also set up automations. And you can also tap here on analytics and you'll be able to view your analytics. And you can select payment methods from the left hand column and you'll be able to see the different payment methods. And again, you can connect various apps by tapping on apps in the top right hand column. You could connect PayPal smart address plugin and so on thanks for watching hope you found it helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe